What's going on people? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can find profitable wholesale products for your Amazon business. Now this is a video I've been planning to make for a little while, but recently I've seen some videos where people are using whiteboards to get their point across. So I thought today I'd have a crack at doing a video showing you exactly how it works on the whiteboard. Now, what I'm about to show you isn't a theory. This isn't something I've just come up with. This is something that I've been doing for years. This is something that pretty much any Amazon wholesale seller will have been doing to find products for their business. And then really at the end of the day, it's just a numbers game. As you can see here, I've got a funnel, which means you put stuff in at the top, you go through the funnel, and then at the bottom, we're gonna have our profitable wholesale products. So let's get straight into it, and let's look at the top of the funnel here. So, when you're trying to find products for your Amazon business, obviously the first thing you're gonna do is find suppliers. If you can't find any suppliers, obviously you can't find any products. So the top of this funnel is finding suppliers. So I'm gonna write a few different methods in here that you can use to find suppliers. So we've got stuff like reverse sourcing, We've got Google search, standard one that pretty much everyone knows and tries. We've got local suppliers, so going to local suppliers near where you live. We've got other methods using tools like Jungle Scout and Keeper. And then we've got Brand Direct. So there's just a few methods that you can start using straight away to find wholesale suppliers to then obviously try and find products for your business. Now, every single one of these works. There's not you know, one secret way to find suppliers. There's not one way that works, one way that doesn't. Every single one of these methods does work. So you could implement any one of them and you will start finding suppliers. There's no doubt about it. Now, obviously some methods are gonna work better for you. Some methods aren't gonna work as well for you. Um, stuff like Jungle Scout and Keeper, obviously you have to pay for the tools to use them. But if you're just starting out, the first thing you wanna be doing is obviously Google searching, local suppliers, maybe doing some reverse sourcing using Selleramp. But this is the first step in our funnel, yeah? So finding suppliers. Now, what you wanna be doing as soon as you start finding suppliers is start a spreadsheet where you can put the supplier's name, the supplier's website onto that spreadsheet and start collecting as much information as you can. So Let's say I found a supplier. I'm gonna to go to my spreadsheet, put that supplier in. I'm then gonna add some extra columns like have I opened an account, yes or no? Have I ordered from them, yes or no? And I have a rating on my spreadsheet where I actually rate the supplier. So it'll be green, orange or red. Basically meaning have I looked at their stock sheet? Is there some potential there? Is there profitable products? Or have I gone over the whole stock list from that supplier and I wasn't able to find one product? Obviously I'd mark that red. So this is step one in the funnel, yeah? Finding suppliers for your business. Step two, we've then got opening accounts. So obviously once you've found these suppliers, the next thing you wanna do is start trying to open accounts with these suppliers. Now, some suppliers you won't be able to open an account and it could be you know, a variety of reasons, like you're not VAT registered, you're not a brick and mortar store, you haven't been trading for long enough. There's multiple reasons you can get declined, but, but there is also loads of wholesalers that you will be able to open accounts with. Now once you've been doing this for a little while, in here you can start using a VA. And if you don't know what a VA is, basically it's a virtual assistant, someone that you pay to go and do the tasks that you don't particularly wanna do. Generally, they're not very expensive, so you get a VA that's pretty cheap, and then you get them to start doing the tasks that are taking you a long time, the tasks that you can delegate to someone else, such as opening accounts. Now, obviously, when you're first starting, don't worry about a VA, because it's another expense, and really, you do need the experience of doing this yourself before you start you know, getting someone else to do it for you. So. Step two, we've started opening accounts. Again, we're filling in our spreadsheets, and when we open the account, have we opened it, yes or no? Have we been over their stock list, yes or no? What do they like, blah, blah, blah. But that's step two. So step one, we're gonna use as many methods as we can to find suppliers. Step two is we're gonna open as many accounts as we can with these suppliers, and then we get down to step three in the funnel, which is the stock lists. So generally, a wholesaler or a supplier will give you an Excel spreadsheet with their stock list on it. Not all of them do this. Some of them is online only. So some of them you will have to log on to their website and manually go over every single product. But chances are you're gonna be able to get a stock list from the supplier. And if you don't know what a stock list is, basically it's a spreadsheet with every single product on that, that supplier stock. So it'll have obviously the brand, the name, the size, the weight, the price, and the EAN number. So the main things we're looking at is the EAN number and the price. And then all we're gonna do is get that stock list and go over the products one by one, comparing them to the same product on Amazon. And then of course, if there's a profit in it, 
you know, we might order that product. Now, obviously, when doing this, you do need to be able to analyze a product on Amazon. Some products you can't sell, some products there's been IP claims, sometimes the price is inflated. But once you've got your stock list, there's then a few things you can do to save you a little bit of time. The first way you're gonna go over that stock list is, you know, manually. So you're gonna physically look at the stock list, look at the product, go over to Amazon and compare that product, go through every single product on that stock list. Now, some suppliers may have sent you 5,000 different products, which means it's going to take you a lot of time going through them one by one. Obviously, over time, when you start to know what brands you can sell, what brands you can't sell, what brands are selling well, then obviously this will speed up the process. But when you're first starting out, you're literally going to go one by one, stock list to Amazon, stock list to Amazon until you can find a good product. So manually is the first thing you can do. You can then also use a tool like Scan Unlimited. And what that does is actually scans over the stock list for you. So you'll upload the stock list into Scan Unlimited. It will then scan through the products and then give you all the results from the products that it scans. So the profit, the sales, etc., etc. Now, this is a great tool to use, but it does also miss some products as well. So don't solely rely on Scan Unlimited. Definitely start doing this manually to begin with, and then you can move on to Scan Unlimited, doing some manual as well. And then the final way, again, is you know using a VA. But this is all extra cost. So when you're first starting out, Definitely just stick with manual to start with until you start finding some products. But Scan Unlimited, great tool to use. Of course, it costs money. And then again, a VA, you would just give them the stock list and get them to go over it. Again, costs money and they probably can't look at it as good as you can once you get some experience. So the next step in here is negotiation. So once we found the suppliers, once we've opened the accounts, once we've gone through the stock lists, we then find some products and we move to the negotiation stage. So. Every single supplier that you buy from will at some point be open to negotiation. Now, if you've just opened the account, if you're trying to spend 500 pound, for example, chances are they're not gonna negotiate with you because you're only spending a small amount of money, you've not built up a relationship with them, they don't really know who you are, so you probably can't negotiate on 500 pound. However, if you do this and you find, you know, two, three, four, five thousand pounds worth of stock, chances are you're gonna be able to negotiate the price with them. So what I always do when I'm going over stock lists and stuff, let's say I'm looking for 30% ROI or you know 15% margin, whatever I'm looking for, I will actually lower that when I'm going over the products, when I'm analyzing. Because I know once I get down to this stage, the products that were slightly below my target, they now come into my target and I can purchase them as well. It gives me more buying power and more room to negotiate. So step one, find suppliers. Step two, open accounts. Step three, going over your stock list, looking at the products online, identifying the products that you like, and then negotiating the price as best you can. Sometimes you're not going to be able to when you're first starting, but at the end, you're going to have products. And then all this comes down to is numbers, right? So let's say you opened or you found 500 different wholesalers using this method, yeah? Let's say you opened 300 accounts, now let's say of them 300 suppliers, they all had a thousand products each, right? So that's a potential 30,000 different products that you can look at and see if they're profitable for your business. From that 30,000, right, you found 20 products, yeah? Chances are you're gonna find more, especially when you're first starting because you're not VAT registered, but from looking at 30,000 products, you found 20 profitable products to sell on your Amazon store. And this could have taken you a month, two weeks, you know, two months, three months, it really depends how much time you've got. But within a matter of months, you've already found 20 profitable products for your business. Chances are some of them are gonna be replenishables. So some of them you can buy month in, month out, year in, year out. Some of them obviously aren't gonna work out and some of them are just gonna be a one-time buy kind of deal. But using this to get 20, what happens when you put a thousand up here? What happens when you do two thousand? All these numbers are going to double. So let's say we've done a thousand, that's going to be six hundred, sixty thousand, forty products. And you might be thinking, well, you know, you're never going to find two thousand suppliers. There's hundreds of thousands of suppliers just in the UK that you can find open accounts with, go over their stock list. And the biggest question I get asked is how do you find suppliers? How are you finding these products? How do you find profitable products? Literally, this is all you do, right? This is all you have to do. And then over time, obviously, you're going to offload this work. So you might get a VA in here, a VA in here, 
and then you just do the negotiation and buy the products. You might even get a VA to start finding suppliers for you once you've trained them on some of these methods. But the point I'm trying to make is, this all just comes down to how much you put in at the top, it means how many products you're gonna get at the bottom. Typically what will happen is, someone will say, oh, you know, wholesale isn't working, I can't find any products. They would have found five suppliers, they would have opened two accounts, they would have gone over 300 products, and they would have said they didn't find anything, this doesn't work. Now, obviously this isn't easy, this takes time, but once you know what you're doing, and all you do is this over and over and over and over again, you're gonna find products. There's no way you cannot not find any products if you do this properly, if you put the time in, if you really stay consistent with it, right? Don't just do it once, think this doesn't work, you know. I've spent all of January and most of February pretty much doing this nearly every single day, you know, so hours every single day doing this just to find these products. But once you've found 20 products, once you've found 30, 40 products, you are now making a lot of money on Amazon. You don't need hundreds and hundreds of products to make good profit, but all you need is 20 good products to start seeing good, consistent profits. Now this doesn't just end here, right? This is obviously where you start, this is what you start doing, but over time, you have to do this less and less, right? Because once you've found these products, once you've ordered from this supplier, right? So from here, you start building relationships. So when you buy from a supplier, you know, obviously when it's your first time, maybe you couldn't negotiate as much, right? But you've still made an order. You're still in contact with that supplier, with that sales rep, you've made an order. So now you're starting to build a relationship, right? And the better relationship you can build, generally by buying more from that supplier, then of course, the better your negotiation can now be, which means you're gonna be getting products for a cheaper price. And over time, once that sales rep or that supplier knows that you're buying products consistently, knows you've got money to spend, knows you're spending money with them, they're gonna start coming direct to you with products. They will email you, WhatsApp you, text you, saying we've got certain products coming in, is this something you're interested in? And when that starts happening now, you're now doing this less and less and less because the suppliers are coming to you, they're emailing you, contacting you. You've built them relationships, you're getting better prices, and this is how you start to be able to beat every other seller on Amazon. Once you've built relationships with these suppliers, once you're getting the cheapest price pretty much anyone can get, then no one can undercut you on Amazon because they can't get the products as cheap as you can. And then once you've been consistently buying these products for a while, you can then start, you know, going more brand direct. Now, of course, this isn't going to happen straight away because a brand will want to look into you a little bit more than a supplier. So you will need to have trading history. You will need to be established for, a, you know, a little period of time. But all this is happening from utilizing this funnel, from finding these products, building relationships, doing this more and more, so putting more in to get better results, going brand direct. Now, if you are already selling on Amazon, chances are you know every single one of their methods listed there. You know how to, you've opened accounts before, you've seen a stock list before, you've gone over a stock list, you've probably tried to negotiate, and you may have found some products. Or you may have done, you know, one, two, three, four, can't find anything, but have you done this? Have you opened 300 accounts? Have you scanned 30,000 products to find these 20? All you need to do is copy that and do that consistently start tracking how many suppliers you're finding, how many accounts you're opening, how many scans you're doing, how many products you're finding. Once you start tracking this data, you can then scale this up. So let's say you opened 200 accounts. Let's say you scanned 25,000 products. Let's say you found 15. You then know if you double that input up here at the top, then you're gonna double the results out the bottom there. But well, that's all I wanted to go over in this video. Sometimes all you need is someone to just explain it to you and say, you need to do this, you need to be putting more work in, you know, you need to be hitting, you need to be finding more suppliers to get the results. Some of you will probably sit there thinking, do you know what, I have done this, but I've not put enough effort into it. Probably why I haven't got the results. Some of you may have never done any of this before, but it's all pretty straightforward stuff. You know, these methods up here are very basic. And there is obviously other methods that you can use, but generally these are the ones you're gonna start with. And then you just follow this through and you will start finding products there's no doubt about it but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video hopefully using the whiteboard has allowed me to explain it a little bit better thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one